Hello and welcome to my talk on high assurance module innovation for pairing frame to primes using Fiat cryptography. So the work I'll present is joined with Bas Billers and Diego Ferrania. Here's my agenda. First I'll cover some motivation and then I'll explain the tools that we used and the algorithm that we implemented and then I'll explain the concrete project. So first of all, cryptographic code is difficult to get right and is therefore an ideal target for formal verification. Crypto code is also vulnerable to bugs, particularly in the context of blockchains and cryptocurrencies. And in particular, the algorithm that we formalized in version has also been uh, discovered to be vulnerable in crypto libraries that are used in the in industry. So why did we choose this? So first of all, it's a vulnerable algorithm. Also, it's used for elliptic curve arithmetic and pairing computations in elliptic curve cryptography, which we are aiming at being able to fully formalize. And this is one step towards that fully formalization. Um, furthermore, it's used in, in, a, in different cryptographic protocols. So why did we choose to use Fiat as our tool? So Fiat is prime agnostic and allows us to generate this algorithm for any prime and in particular you need di very different primes for uh, classical elliptic curve cryptography and pairing based elliptic curve cryptography furthermore fiat generates constant time code which is essential for security and at the moment it did not support inversion so this uh, work is a, an extension of what fiat uh, supports so fiat cryptography what is that Fiat is a Coq library for synthesizing finer field arithmetic and is developed at MIT. So in their own words, it's an alternative to the handwritten assembly code that you find in the wild today. And it's a way to get rid of those bugs that arise from, from difficult to, uh, to write and difficult to audit assembly code. It's used in production at Google. And as I mentioned earlier, it generates constant time uh, implementations. So how does it work? Well, you write some high-level code in Coq, which is partially evaluated uh, when you give it the prime that you wish to generate arithmetic for. And then this is reified into an NST, which can be printed to C. And then you get competitive uh, code. So the operations that it supports are bitwise uh, operations on integers and adds with carries and subtractions and multiplication with carries but notably it doesn't uh, have loops so in particular in this work so inversion requires this the, the algorithm that we implemented requires a loop which which appeared could not generate for us so this is a, an unverified part of the our implementation so the algorithm that we chose to formalize so when you do modular inversion, that's basically two ways to do it. You can use the extended Euclidean algorithm, or you can use for mass little theorem to do um, to do inversion using modular exponentiation. So the algorithm that we chose is State of the Art by Bernstein and Yang, which was published a couple of years ago. And this is a variant of the Euclidean algorithm. Uh, it's constant time, so which is, as I mentioned earlier, also essential. It's much better than the Fermat's uh, little theorem way of doing it for uh, random primes in the sense that Fermat's little theorem can be um, optimized for, for certain primes. Um, one issue that we encountered in this project is that it's, it's uh, quite difficult to prove correct. So the, the paper proof is on a quite high level and and we didn't actually prove the, the algorithm correct, but only proved the division step correct so the division step so the Bernstein and Yang algorithm is basically an iteration of this division step and this division step is what we proved uh, which we implemented in fiat and proved correct so there are two versions presented in the in the paper one which is um, so one which exploits that you can compute at a low precision and one which uh, com makes all computations at full precision and we implemented both of these but I'll come back to that later. So here's the correctness theorem for the algorithm. As you can see, you have to compute this div step n times, 
where n is defined by this number. So this is basically a loop that you have to compute, and then you have to find and do some multiplications. So what is the current status? So we stated the algorithm in a fiat-friendly way, in the sense that in the paper we used rationals, which fiat does not support. So we made an implementation in Calc. And then we, to be able to implement the division steps, so if I just scroll back here, so the division step here needs, so G and F are both uh, multi-lim integers in the sense that they are in the size, the same size as the prime that we are working with. And we need them to, we need them sign, so there's a subtraction here, and we need them to be able to, to divide them or shift them. And these operations were not n fiat, so we extended fiat with arithmetic for Muslim integers and two's complement, so signed arithmetic, and we implemented uh, sign shifting, um, and used just with these two, then it was able we were able to actually implement the entire division step, uh, so that we can we could write it in fiat, and then it would generate uh, efficiency code for us. Yeah, and then we prove the division step correct inside fiat, uh, correct with respect to the definition unit. I was on the earlier slide. So as I mentioned, fiat cannot generate these loops. So to make an an actual in, uh, inversion, you have to we had to write some s lines of C around the the generated. So here the the division step is generated, but there's a couple of C lines both before and after the loop. Furthermore, so as I mentioned, there was two two versions, the, the one working at low precision and the one working at high precision. So the fast one, which uses um, lower precision, is a bit more complex and use the a nested nested loop. So you they're they're a bit more on modified C code, but then on the other hand, you get a lot you get a big speed up using this version. So we tested our implementation against handwritten implementations using uh, Diego's Relic crypto library. So I'll just explain the numbers here. So using the slow version, but generated by Fiat Crypto, you get uh, get this this number, so 300,000 cycles, and you get this big speed up just using the, the jump div step. So jump div step is the one that works at lower position, but also is a bit more complex and requires some more handwritten C. Uh, we also try to to write this entire algorithm uh, in ha by hand and using only the fiat arithmetic, and you still you get a small speed up there. So the speed up from 80, uh, 81,000 to seventy five thousand, we should be able to to cut that. Uh, and as you can see here, so the the, the jump division jump div step algorithm implemented by hand and using assembly optimizations. And laser reduction. So laser reduction is also something that we would be able to do in fiat, but it's uh, it requires to extend it a bit more. But as you see, it's a bit more than a double speed up for the the handwritten one. So you get a you get o uh, only a, a double slowdown from using the the verified version. Yeah, and so here's just so how fast you can do inversion in general. But this is uh, variable time, so this is no circumstances uh, suitable for cryptographic purposes. So future work. So first of all, we would like to prove the, the actual algorithm correct. Uh, but as I mentioned, the proof is, is, uh, is on a high level and the paper is on a high level. So this requires to, to uh, include uh, other libraries for COC to be able to prove this correct. Um, also, we would like to be able to generate the entire algorithm. Uh, as I mentioned, fiat does not uh, uh, support the loops. We will also look into getting a full verification to assembly, for example, by using Comsa. But there are some primitives that fiat use that Comsa does not support at the moment. And finally, a long-term goal we would be able to generate electrical operations and pairing algorithms. And this is where we were able to use the, the inversion that this project has formalized.